Hey there guys, this is basically through and through here with the continuation of the Danganronpa series. Last time we left off, we have two murderers on the oh, sorry, two murderers on the loose right now. And um, we're trying to figure out what that what's going on. We got two suspects right now since these are the only characters that are not present right now, which is Hiro and fuck, what's her name again? I think uh, Kiri Giri. Okay, so um what happened before? We discovered two dead bodies from what I remember. One in uh one in the nurse's office, I believe, and one next to this wardrobe area next to the uh, physics lab. Uh, oh yeah, her, her body's unconscious, there's blood there. Um, what are we doing exactly again? What's the uh, button to? No, that's not it. I really should've, okay. Okay, here we go. Maybe this will help a little bit. Let's get moving, yell out if anything. The kid left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try to find the missing two bodies. So we're trying to find the missing two bodies right now. If possible. So let's do that. Where would the two missing bodies be exactly? I mean, can't leave, can it? I mean, it has to be somewhere. I'm guessing. Is there a map screen? Maybe it'll lead me to the direction of where I'm supposed to go exactly. Art room, maybe? Let's search there, because there's two people already there anyway, so... Let's do that. I'm guessing... Yeah, because, um... I didn't remember where last time Hero went, but he Hifumi definitely was in the art room admiring all the artwork. Um, the last time we checked in this area, so... Yeah, and, uh, according to the, uh, thesis so far, there's the motivation for money. So, um... I'm curious, maybe money has to do with the murders right now? Who knows? That's the rec room. I don't think we really need to check the rec room. Where the fuck is this map? Where the fuck is this like art room right now? Okay, the map room definitely tells me exactly where it is, I think. But uh, I'm getting lost in this hallway area. It's kind of difficult for me. Okay, so that's downstairs. And from what I remember, there's also a fourth floor or something? I believe so, but I don't exactly remember. Is this another area in the, um, area? Or uh, whatever? Or is this actually- yeah, this is the art room, okay. What oh, did you get two found yet? No, I don't want to admire Venus, sorry. You're- you're a very attractive lady, but I have work to do. Where could the two bodies have disappeared to? Alright, and? Damn. We need to search for the bodies that have disappeared, what happens after that? Okay, so, um... Rattle, rattle? Huh? The door must be locked. Oh, okay, I thought there was something- someone inside the room, but... Okay, so that's suspicious. The door here is definitely locked. So... And it wasn't locked before, so something's going on in there. Huh? So it seems like we can't really talk to these uh, these girls right now, so... Where else can we check? Where the hell's Byakuya? Maybe not in the- sorry, first floor gym? Nothing. Second floor gym? Nothing. Dormitory? Nothing as well. Nothing. Where the hell did Byakuya go? Did he, did he went back to the library or something? Oh boy. Alright, so without any hints, I'm guessing we need to find some sort of key or hammer in order to break open the fucking lock of the uh, area. Alright. Yeah, there is a def there's definitely a fourth floor here, so that's inaccessible right now. So, do we really have to search for three fucking floors? Also, where the hell Celeste and, uh, Byakuya? That's what I want to know right now. Maybe we just have to find those two as well, or maybe those two went missing? I don't fucking know. Or are they with me right now? I, I think we might split up, so I'm with Byakuya and Celeste, and those two are searching for some other rooms as well. Okay, so... We got the hammer here... Was she really attacked with this Justice Hammer 1? What the heck? What the heck is with this thing? That's something I have to find out. It doesn't seem like she could really fake a bruise like that, so it's obvious that she was somehow injured due to the process. But there's also no bruh. Maybe, maybe they. What? Makoto! Come on! Why are you just standing there? We need to go to the rep repository. Indeed. I found them. Ifumi and Taka's body are both been hidden in the repository. Alright, so Hina and Sakura will go on ahead. In the repository. Where the fuck's the repository again, exactly? Is it still on the third floor, or...? 
equipment room, physics, class B, class A, stairways, rec room. There it is. Okay, so I'm. Oh, so so I was at the right location basically. The repository is next to the art room, which is fucking locked, and I guess they just opened it somehow. Wow, that was. Come on, guys. At least give me some credit for doing something productive. Uh, okay. Um. I guess we're going back to the art room and into the repository. So their bodies have been found in here. Are the are the bodies here somewhere? Up ahead is the repository. The doorknob turned. I guess it's unlocked. Then I have no choice but to go inside. Alright, so. So I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw. The two dead bodies, or is there a third dead body? Oh, okay, so it's just two dead bodies, okay. So they were moved here for some reason. The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was questionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. A body has been discovered! They say what? After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Could the original two bodies be a fake? What? Huh? Hmm. And so here we- wait, what? Huh? Okay, I'm confused. Why did they announce that again? It's the Monokuma file! Let me give you all the next Monokuma file. I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. What? I was really hard to resist, but it turns out I was right. Alright, just hand it over already. Is waiting. Now, make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the class trial. But first up, wait, what happens when the other two do not attend the class trial? Because Okay, I'm curious about that. I'm really curious as to how this turns out. Hmm. Well then, now that we found the bodies, all there's left to do is uncover the culprit. What the heck? Uh, hold on! How can you be so... so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know? That's terrible! Dead! Gone forever! They're never coming back! Awful! This is just too awful! This is Byakuya we're talking about. We're, uh, oh, don't cry, Aoi! I'll, I'll protect you with my body and... Okay, what am I doing? Yeah, Hina! I, I, I hope my girlfriend doesn't see this. Hina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Who, who would do this? Why? Why? Large wet tears fell from her. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Large wet. Hey! <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Anyways, large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. If this were some world to make believe, that might be when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. It's a video game, so it's a lot more unbelievable, but whatever. Uh, please tell me her tears don't bring her him back to life or so. The fuck? Huh? This wasn't. She's alive again? Where am I? Cold. So. Old. Is winter coming? Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer. At least he could tell us what the hell's going on before he dies or something. Hifumi, tell us what the murderer is. What, what happened while you were attacked or something. Richie. Maybe any information might help. Like the tail. Maybe his metaphorical... Why am I saying? His metaphors might be an indication of some sort. Let's see here. What do they represent? Maybe. <laughs> I might be di diving way deep into this, but there's gotta be something here, right? Ah, the light. It's reaching out to me. Like the tail of a comet. 
Okay, that doesn't really help much. Hey, Fumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Oh, even so, it's possible that he was still- or he or she was still disguised as the robot, so it's- Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Yasu. Hero. Okay. So in his last dying breath, he says Yasuhiro was the murderer. Well, wow, how's that for usefulness? His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute, undeniable death. Okay, so no matter how many more of Hina's tears splash into his face, there's no second miracle. Reality set in again. Hmm. This isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. He gave us the wit he gave us a witness testimony. What the fuck are you saying those unnecessary dying words? Now this game has become exceedingly boring. <sighs> Because what? He said Yasuhiro. Then perhaps... Yasuhiro Hagakuru... Oh, God damn these Japanese names. Not that, but I'm talking in an accent as well with Celeste's voice acting, so that's even worse. That is the only person he could have been referring to. So in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Hifumi? And then going so far as to hide their body... Well, here's the thing. That's... Yasuhiro's testimony that's um Hifumi's testimony that Yasuhiro killed him. Now what we don't know is whether or not he also killed Taka. That is the question we're trying to also uncover. So we got one one murder solved, but and I don't think there's really any reason for him to lie in his dying words. So we can believe that Yasuhiro killed Hifumi. Now who killed Taka is a, another question. It could be someone else, or it could also be Hiro. That's what we're trying to solve right now. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hiro is? What is this? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends. Now hold on a minute. Just one. He didn't say whether or not he killed... Because, like, the, um, Taka and... Hifumi are in two separate areas. We do not know exactly whether or not Hiro actually killed those two as well. Or uh, him as well. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although this time, it's not all that life or death. The trials will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. Let's go through this one more time. I had to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it. Alright, time for investigation time. Alright, so, Inspector of Dead Bodies. I'm not sure how exactly that'll help, but maybe that'll help somehow. We, we see butt tra blood trauma on the wound, and we should probably take a break, actually, real quickly. So we'll be right back with the next episode, and we'll be investigating the murders of Taka and Hifumi. So stay tuned for that.